We built an MMO yesterday. And today we're gonna go over the new features of our new MMO coming in three years. Here's the video, in case you missed it, of the Omen Project, the MMO we talked about that we built yesterday. Click it in case you missed it. And today we're gonna go over what you see behind me, the key features of the new MMO you are going to help us build as a community, as a family, that we will launch after we go IPO in three years. Let's go. So the most important aspect will be that it will have real world benefit. What real world skills or knowledge do you gain? The problem is that players become experts in a fantasy world in today's MMOs. We suggest that the next MMO should gain real world knowledge and skills as a side effect of having fun playing the game. For example, opening up a shop in this game will be similar to starting a real business in the real world. Second most important tip in this new MMO is two-player content. A lot of MMOs require you to get into big groups, big guilds, big raids to do meaningful things in the game. Eh. This is about two players. We have limited time in this world. Let's make the game designed to run best with two-player groups only. You can do everything with two people, you and a partner, and that way you can do amazing things without planning and hoping your team is around or not around. The problem is there still needs to be challenging content where you can have two pairs of people, four people that work together. And then when you have pairs of those, so eight people work together, but the game's core will be focused on two people working together. Now, not solo because that's a single player game. Just go play Skyrim if you want an awesome single player game. This will be an MMO that's designed around two-player content. Third big tip, the end game starts at level one, not 50. Who wants to do the grind again? I do not. Come on, game developers, stop forcing us to go through some petty leveling treadmill just so we can get to the fun in weeks or months after starting the game. We will start this game at the max fun factor from level one. Actually, Morrowind was one of these games where you could basically go straight to the end of the game from level one because the level, the monsters leveled around you. I'm not saying we'll use that mechanic, but it was an interesting idea where you could actually, the end game started at level one and it worked. So let's do that in this MMO. And the fourth suggestion we'll talk about today is user generated content. In our new MMO, can gamers create anything permanent? Of course, the answer is yes. We've seen EverQuest Next take this approach where they will let you make things in the world that will be seen by everyone. Star Wars Galaxies had the same benefit. You could plop a house down and everybody saw it. It was there permanently for everyone to see, to look at, to enter with your permission. So we will take that to the next level and we will allow a full Minecraft style of construction, destruction, uh, building, crafting as a user-generated content that lets you shape the world, create user cities, not just a few houses here and there. And so the suggestion is to give gamers a creative outlet to this game. Think of Second Life. Second Life is a game exactly focused around building things and owning land, but there's no game to it. It's really a simulation. Same with The Sims. We want to take those elements and put them into an MMO with mechanics of all the exciting, addictive, leveling, uh, increasing skill, gaining new wealth in the game. Again, similar to real life. We, as Freedom, have gained wealth and experience and skill in building the Freedom Network, where we are one of the top networks on all of YouTube in less than a year. So we want to be able to do that in this game, but also create the user-generated content so that we can see some real results out of spending the countless hours we're all going to spend playing this game. Do you like these tips? There's a lot more coming, but tell me down in the comments below what you think about these first four key points of this new MMO we're gonna build together and we're soon gonna show you how you can contribute your ideas. So for now, write them down in your own Google Doc or Google Sheet and record everything so you don't forget it. 
And soon we're going to allow you to contribute those ideas, vote on them, help everyone decide what the best elements of this new MMO will be, and we're going to do it together. I hope this influences you in a positive way, and influence is my one word. The word or phrase that completely describes who I am, my passions, what excites me is influence. And if you missed that video, click here. That'll take you to the video that I talk about influence and where I ask you to tell me what your word or phrase is that uniquely describes you. Read what other people have said down there in the comments below beneath that video, the influence video. This is freedom. And who am I? I am George, and I like to influence people in a positive way. I'm also the founder of Freedom and MGN, our multi-gaming network, the MCN for Gamers, and you've been watching. Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all Freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers and click the other videos like How Do I Leave Freedom to learn more. Click Get More Views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click Get More CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom and we will grow together as a family because this is the freedom family you are part of it we are all part of it and we're all growing together so grow with us and partner with freedom that play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper now